Is the seven ball going to go? It's not, so it's a dry break. You definitely feel like Eklund Katz is going to be the lead player in this team for Albania. He's the one with the more experience. Of course, he's played in a few Moscone Cups now. Yeah, and he's not the only Albanian in the room. There's a solid block of red shirts out there, all rooting for Team Albania, the biggest Albanian flag I've ever seen. You know, Albania's in the house. This is great. Extension code. Yeah, this is tricky to it, isn't it, Roller? How do you get to this one ball? I think you need a, a map and a compass to get there. I think he's trying to spin this three rails. This is adventurous. That's what he's tried, and the bad news is he Pass broke up. the purple five and the brown seven up. Hand. I applaud the shot, though. That's Start not a shot place. anybody that I have ever met would have tried to play. It was uh, a real wild ride, and unfortunately, didn't quite work out for him. does Danielle have because the red three is causing problems in this rack if you can just throw it through the middle which he has done played a stun run through there that was a good shot Francesco Candela, not seen much of him. The match room pool events, so he's going to be feeling a little bit edgy. Of course, his partner, Danielle, we've seen him. He's played in this event a few times, so he, he knows what to expect. Ooh, unfortunate. And he's not on the purple either. That was just a little bit of a too thin of a cut. Maybe a little nervy. It's his first, uh, first time at the table with a hard cut here. Yeah, it's funny. Often when you've got one of them little thin shots, you often overcut the ball, don't you? This looks thin as well. Good shot. Needs a cue ball to slow down though. Yeah, that's going to be okay. Similar shot. The spar hue now. Now, my instinct on this shot would be to just try to load it up with a lot of right hand spin to get up for the green six. Uh, is that what he's going to do? Nicely done indeed. Cue ball off the rail as well. Seen a lot of the, the modern day pool players play with an extension on the butt end of the queue. Standard length Q is 57, 58, call it. Now you see, a lot of the players are screwing an extension on the bottom of the queue to make it well, very, very long. Nice little draw on that one. Yeah, does the extension also stabilize your queue a little bit? What's the, what's the point of that? 
I think I've spoke to Jason about it and uh, SVB, and they Shane just seems to think it it just makes each shot not need as much power. You can get more cube power on it. Catchy's not happy with that one though. Didn't go in clean. He prides himself on potting the ball, so he won't be happy with that one. But it has fell in nevertheless, and it's the first rep to El Dayman. having a chat about that eight ball I think Catchy won't be happy with that one it's funny what he's not happy with he makes the ball he gets on position for the nine ball for his partner but he's still bummed out I think I'd be pretty pumped about that yeah it's funny really because the guys are practicing upstairs so the tables upstairs you know all the teams are in there they're, they're practicing away and the cloth the the newness of the cloth soon goes so it's funny, really, that ball upstairs won't go in, but because this is brand new, he's still got that sheen and that, that slide. Unfortunately, withdrew from 2021 event, and you see, due to travel issues. 2019, lost in round two, so not been the best of events for Albania. That's Danielle Corrieri on your screens. Winner of a few Euro tours. And Francisco Candela on your right. Looks like they took down Spain last year, which is uh, it's a hard task. The Spanish duo are, are uh, pretty unbeatable when they're on. Yeah, so they had a good win last time out. Albania so fans have come in to support their team. team. Bizarre to break in rack two. Nine ball is moving. The nine ball's moving. Nearly a golden. This could be a quick rack, though, Roly. Look where the nine ball's finished. Looks like it, yeah. Normally, uh, you know, it's a good idea to try to get all the balls in order, but when that nine ball is hanging in the pocket, it just is too tempting for these pros. Yeah, Catchy's just going to draw the cue ball up the rail, you feel. Maybe try and go rail first with the cue ball. And you feel any contact, the nine's going to fall for a quick rack. He's definitely playing this. The nine is hanging. It's begging. And just like that, oh, it's 2-0. This is what can happen in nine ball. This is why it makes it fast right. and furious. And he got the seven as a bonus. Yeah, there you see cue ball off the rail, just flicks the nine ball in the pocket. Now, if you're just starting out nine ball, it seems like you should just always go for the nine ball. Like it's, if, it's, if it's on the table and you make it and you win, why are these pros not trying to take a shot at the nine ball much more often? Well, you are known as the average pool player on social media, well, right? That's you're right. an average pool player. And the average pool player would chase the nine a lot, but you know, at the top level, the pros are more likely to run the balls out in a conventional order. So that's why you don't see them just chase the nine. That's what we call it, where you just fire the ball on the nine and hope it goes in. But obviously in that case, where it was sat over the pocket, Albania had no choice. They're now looking for a strong run in this year's event, Albania. It's not been the best of events. There you see the top half of the draw. Look at that. Great Britain A are playing great. Britain B, that is going to be a classic. Albania just below them, 2-0 up. Spain, one of the hot favourites in this year's tournament. David Alcady, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, best of buddies. 
They're going to be playing Australia. And Thailand, they've replaced the Philippines. Two of the top snooker players in the world are in this event. They're playing South Africa. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Thailand. I've never seen those guys play pool before, but uh, they're pretty unbelievable when it comes to making balls. So let's see. Yeah, that is the arm of a Clint Catcher. Self-made on his arm and on his neck. He has a tattoo saying perfection. Yeah, that's the microphone. All the players are mic'd up and I think it's just come a little loose. Yeah, Catchy doesn't hold back on the break. He will always go full throttle. The more traditional pool break. Does the one pass the pink four? There you see the cue ball hops back, often leaves the bed of the table. The players are trying to park the cue ball. Yeah, he must go just where he's looking. Just asking Catchy where he wants the cue ball. For me, though, the important thing here is you just make sure you pop the one. It might sound a little bit selfish, but my kind of thing was make sure I pop the ball. Let me partner worry about the next shot. Now, that's a good question. Do you think, like, when there are partners involved, do you think players are trying to be more selfless, or do you think they're just trying to get their work done and give the other guy the next shot? Well, the latter would definitely be my thing. I mean, has he fluked the one? He hasn't, but that is the perfect example because if you try and get a little bit too greedy and get your partner perfect, you know, you're going to miss these balls. And rule number one in that situation is pop the one ball. Yeah, it looked like that cue ball kind of hopped up on him, like he struck a little bit too low on the cue and just gave it a little bit of a scoop jump. Kind of under hit this shot, hasn't it? Could still thin this ball in, but he would have liked the cue ball a little higher because he wants to get closer to the red three. If you don't get close to the red three, the combo just can kind of get a little bit weird on you. And it's tough to judge speed on these brand new tables. I mean, that exact same shot, the cue ball might have landed a foot different on different felt. Mm, that is unfortunate. Yeah, so if you look at what's going on here in just this rack alone, it's the two inexperienced players of the teams that have made mistakes. This is where Katz has got to step up to the plate and he's got to be the leader for Albania. Now, I can tell you, I'm nervous just commentating. I can imagine how Stash. unbelievably Stash nervous Stash. these dudes have to be under pressure under in the world cup under the lights for the first time or the or one of the earliest times i don't know if i could handle it well that's why you're the average pool player roller in fact i know i could not handle it this is awkward well wow. That was an average shot. He's tried to play a cross, cross bank to get the cue ball back up table for the three. And he's made a complete mess of that one. Look at the shock. Yeah, this whole rack has been kind of a, a series of under hit and over hit shots. What do you think is going on in there, in the table down there? You've played nine ball before, Roly. You know, like, it's not as easy as the players make it look and certain angles and things are just not quite there and often it can start to make you look a little bit foolish. But maybe if Katya was playing singles, he might have just potted the two in the corner where the cue ball went and left a long combo. I think because he didn't fancy his partner doing it, he tried to get better on the three. Mm, that's an interesting thought. Yeah, maybe that maybe that's why the World Cup is a difficult event because you're not just playing your normal game, you're playing 
like half of someone else's game and half of your own game. The three ball's got a little lost, doesn't it? You might have to play a long bank into the top, the bottom right, rather. Yeah, I think what you're saying there, Ole, is about right because you're not just playing for yourself. If you make a mistake, you're going to sit down and it's all on your own shoulders. But this one, you can't help but feel bad for your partner. So it's a safety shot. So this weird rack continues. These are the racks I like, though, when it's not just all break and run. There's a few things going on, a few safety shots, a few mistakes. Yeah, I think that's a good thing to remember. All four of these people can string racks together, rack after rack after rack. So it's not as though they can't do it. It's just the randomness of the table and the slick conditions that are making these shots go off. Purposely kicking from behind. He would have known wow. the right center was in play. It was a good shot. You think he was going for that shot? I think in the back of his mind, he knew that the center pocket was there. I think it was all about the pace. If it hits a little high or a little low, he finds the bottom rail. All right, this is more like the Albania I'm used to. So it was the kick shot from the far, which has took this third rack. We thought it was going to be a close one, this. It still might be. It's Albania three, Italy zero.
rack 4 of any other brake leading three racks to nil. Well, it's all been Albania. The opening three racks have gone Team Albania's way. Basar's by you to break. Big break from Bessar here. Dressing up right on that. Ooh, the six ball just dribbles in to ruin his day. It's funny on the break shot as a pool player when you break off you make a ball and you can you learn to spot all the balls moving at once don't you and at a glance he thought oh I've got a shot and then the old random ball comes and spoils push the party cold. push out cold So if you've just tuned in after the break, you can always play a push out. So Kachi rolls the ball down table. Italy will come to the table. They can either play the shot or they can pass it back if they don't fancy it. What do you look for in a push out shot, Carl? Just try to give yourself a 50-50 shot or something? I love the push out because I like to sort of, you get a feel of the player's strengths, don't you, over the years of being on the tour and you know, you can manipulate that and you can push the jump shots if you know there's a weak jumper or sometimes if you know a player's not very good at the long pot, I used to lie rolling out to the long pot and sometimes you give them a little cheeky look and say, well, if you put me back, I'm going to slam this ball in. So you want to be careful out there. I guess you can also figure out whether they're left or right-handed and try to try to use that against them. Italy don't fancy this shot, so they've put Albania back in. Catchy rolled the ball out, so he will play the shot. Yeah, he was always going to try and get the one ball. I don't know if he was trying to get it behind the four or in front. It wasn't the best shot he's ever played, but it's worked out okay. It looks like if you hit the one ball, it might launch the four ball into that corner pocket, possibly caroming off the seven, but I wouldn't want to bet money on it. Station An average pool player spotting them shots rolling. Well, that's the kind of shot that I would just see and then immediately try to play and then blow it and, uh, and give up the game. So that's the downside of being an average pool player. But here we go. One into the four, into the seven. Calling it right now. Swish net. Well, it was certainly tracking towards the seven, wasn't it? So he felt like there was no other real option. Sometimes you've got to take what the table gives you and just try and make something happen, especially when you're 3-0 down as well. It's a short race to a seven. Everyone knows that in the event. They're so desperate just to win the first two matches. And it'll move up to a race to nine. And you just feel like you can relax that little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, usually you get two losses. You know, this is one of the only single elimination tournaments on the tour. If you lose any time, you're gone. And you came all the way out for, you know, effectively nothing. Yeah, unlike the Masters, which is obviously single elimination, but you're playing on your own. The beauty of this event is that you've got somebody to hang around with, somebody who's desperate to win just the same as you are, usually in Extension pool. Code. You know, you're playing all on your own, so it can be a little lonely. So when you're getting the wins, it's such a good feeling. You go and have dinner together and maybe go and watch a movie or something in your downtime. And it's just a real nice week when you're doing well. Tough pot here for catcher. And he's made a mess of it. Is he getting a little bit of love? Looks like he is. He's got a nice shot here, though. He can try and bank the two 
back down the table and sort of draw stun the, the cue ball off the side rail in behind the six. Two ball would go, well, maybe he can play off it thin, actually. I thought it was a little thicker. If he can play off it thin, he'll just snip it thin, get the cue ball back down towards the eight. Yeah, he can. Wants the two ball to hit the eight, uh, the six, sorry. Cue ball's been very good, though, so good shot. And that's always going to make you feel good when you're not used to the uh, the cameras and the lights. Yeah, and the shot clock is 30 seconds here. You do not have that much time to decide what you're going to do. It looked like there was a potential jump shot, but uh, you, you don't get to second guess yourself when you've only got 30 seconds on the board and only one extension. Well, he's making a lot of racket chalk in that jump cue, isn't he? What's he doing, man? Oh, and he's made a mess of it. The Fast shot off. clock got to him. Catchy should know better. He's played in Moscow and he cups. Usually when the player is not at the table and it's not their shot, we we always do this in the Moscow anyway. You should be watching the clock. You should be you know, prepared to call the extension to the referee. And that's another interesting thing about a, a World Cup of Pool format. When you got two players... It's not like one person's turn, then the other person's turn. You're both kind of playing as a unit. One person watching the clock, the other person lining up the shot. Maybe he'll grab the jump cue for you. It's sort of an interesting team game. And here comes Italy. They look really strong to put their first point on the board. Anywhere in the centre of the table here is going to be good enough. Don't need to get silly in these situations. Don't try and get too close to the seven. Doesn't matter. Anywhere there. Give your partner a shot of this. He can spin it. Probably spin this off three rails. If it was an old club table, you maybe play it off one rail. Maybe two rails off the top. There's a few options. Decided to go straight up and down. <clears throat> well, it was the mistake from Albania, a clean catch here. That is going to give. Italy, their first rack in this year's tournament. Off the board. It's 3-1. Not only playing for pride, representing your country. Yeah, you know when you go down 4-0, to zero, you start to feel like there's no way back. But 3-1, a couple of good breaks, a, a little break and run, and you're right back in this thing. That was the last three balls that have helped Italy get off the board. It's never nice to see a donut in one of the teams, and that'll just settle the boys down. This is the prize money at stake. So the winner of round one will jump up to four and a half thousand US dollars. Look at the winners. The winner's sixty thousand US dollars. One of the biggest paydays in pool. And as I said earlier, such a nice time to win when you've done it with somebody else as well. Do you think uh, if you win the tournament, do you think the player that does the best on your team should get a little extra money or do you think you should just chop it 50-50? I think maybe you should get bought dinner the other player? Yeah, I think that's a good move. Yeah, All right, so whoever something. wins this tournament, if you're listening to this, you buy the other player dinner if they did, if they kind of were the MVP. Speaking of, Carl, who's your money at? I think to win the whole event, I think... I, don't know, well, I mean, it's so hard to pick. We know this, but I, I like the look of Spain. I think they're going to have a good run. I think Austria... 
I think they've got a tricky opening match against Finland, but they look to be in a pretty good section of the draw. So that's kind of where I'm going. So obviously, we'll probably both get beat first round. Now it is winner breaks. So that often lends a chance of running a few racks and applying some pressure back over. Looked a little weak, didn't it, that break? No real power whatsoever. He parked the cue ball nicely, but that doesn't do any good when you don't get to shoot next. I don't believe the 2-9 combo is set up. This might give us a better indication. No, it doesn't look like that's set. And this is going to be tricky because it doesn't look like he can go forward with the cue ball because the eight looks in its path. So how do you get on the blue two here? I mean, the blue two doesn't even really have many pockets to go at, does it? So this is awkward. Well, the way he's played that tells me he was playing for a combo. So it looks like the two onto the nine is maybe on, but it's very thin. Yeah, it looks like there's a little separation there between the balls. So he might be able to come at it from kind of the left side of the two and just pull that nine back into the corner. Oh, you see the little cling on the balls as the cue hit the one. It looked like they would have probably gone in if he didn't get that cling. Code. Yeah, he's been fortunate as well, hasn't he? You know, whenever you miss a ball, you don't know where they're going to end up. Is it that just a little bit too full? He was hoping for a thinner contact that would have sent the cue ball down the table. Give some separation. So, I mean... If Albania was playing for the combo, surely they're going to play for it again now. Well, he is doing, so this is going to be thin. Now, is the two ball going to kind of slide off the bottom rail? And then off the left rail, go up table. There's a bit of a two-way shot as well. I think there's just enough space that uh, that, that nine ball is going to go right in the corner here. Well, oh, what a shot. He's actually made the two as well, but... The main Daniel thing Mas. is the nine ball has gone. An early combo. It's another quick rack for Albania. 4 1. That was not as easy as it looked. Little gap. Yeah, it's kind of rare to see so many early nine balls uh, so soon. But, you know, when the opportunities are there, I just guess go for it. You know, if you're Italy, I don't know if you can really feel that bad about it. Uh, you might be down pretty heavily, but that's two early nines. It's it's pretty fluky. Not not that they weren't trying to make those two nines, but you know, they those nines dress up somewhere else. It might be a completely different game. Spacca contro un lato, però non spacca molto forte. Guarda contro la bianca solo, tra virgolette, non vedo. Però se tu guardi come fanno le palle su spaccare, sono sempre palle fortunose, non sono mai palle di quelle che entrano, che devono entrare. Fammi in angolo, qua, bro. I think I need to brush up on my languages, Rolla. Yeah, I wish I spoke Italian, I'd love to know what they were talking about. Now, Kachi is a big breaker. He hits the balls real hard, and he's been hitting them pretty hard tonight. I think 
think he got one dry break so far, but I, but he's probably adjusting, so I, we should see at least two balls go in on this break. You know what, I'm going to call it three balls on this break, Carl. Needs a two ball to keep rolling. That would offer a shot into the left centre pocket. <laughs> Cue ball did get kicked, you could see it, but that is out of catchy's control. It was another good break where he controlled the cue ball. This looks a little awkward, just because of where the six is. Can he avoid... Well, it doesn't go past that pink four, does it? So he's got to play it in the left centre. This is what he's looking at now. He's just looking at the natural path of the pot in the blue two. Or does he have to juice up on the cue ball? Yeah, we've seen a lot of balls missed into those side pockets, so they're not very forgiving at this table. Sure, yeah. He did not play the billiard onto the six. That's a little bit worrying. Didn't cue that one good at all. I don't know where the two went. I mean, it was nowhere near. Catchy will have a go at this ball. He's already missed a long shot in the match. That is a lot better, so the fluke, they're going to get away with it. That is heartache for Italy, though, it really is. Yeah, those are the shots that Kachi is just so good at, just seeing the exact cut angle and putting it off that long rail. Now, I've... I, would try to play this ball and I would run into the nine ball every single time. What does Kachi have to do to avoid that here? Do you think he just puts a lot of draw on it? Difficult to see from this angle. That tells us it was the perfect natural angle just to roll the cue ball through. He's going to have to just play this a little firmer into the corner. Use that right hand side rail right just code. above the middle. That's good from Catchy, though, just to put his partner at ease on the shot. Just say, listen, don't worry about it, just pot it. Don't try and be a hero with his cue ball. Looks a decent effort indeed. He's done well to get the cue ball back down there and make the shot. Yeah, you could see the cue ball. It skidded forward first and then drew back. That was a good angle. Yeah, these guys are really setting each other up nicely for the next shot. This is uh, this is the good side of teamwork. Everything's kind of working for these guys. So it was a fluke in this rack, but since then, Albania have took the ball as well. They're looking good in this match. They lead in Italy five racks to one. Can Italy forge a comeback? We'll find out after the break.
Yeah, story of the match so far. Miss Potts, two from Italy, but three from Albania. They've been a little bit fortunate so far in the first half of this match. Thank you. Rock seven. Albania to break. Leading by five rocks to one. But I think overall, they've played pretty solid, even though they've had the run of the ball. You're going to need that in any Q-Sport game. tried to overpower it completely miss hit it oh, cue ball looked like it was going to fly off the table oh, and it kind of hopped down the rail and scratched lots of juice on that break three balls into the same lower left pocket sadly uh one of them was the cue ball so it's not going to get the benefit from it yeah the cue ball really hopped up off that two ball maybe just a little bit of a let's see if i can just power it through Something's different about the way Italy's walking around the table right now. They, they seem to have settled themselves down in the break. I think they're really going to try to make a run at this one. Yeah, I think all you want is some form of chance to, you know, claw the comeback, try and make a bit of a game. And this is going to be the chance in a race to seven. You don't keep getting chances. This could be the only chance they get. So... Danielle's going to have to play a good shot here to get on the purple five. Now, if you were in Daniel's position uh, and you were going into the break 5-1, what sort of things do you try to say to your partner or do you try to think in your own head in order to try to come back from a 5-1 deficit? Extension code. It's just so tough, isn't it? Because you need chances for a start. And then it's what chances you get. This is awkward. He's on a funny little angle. Can he draw back? Or does he have to slide past the seven? Where's the six ball? Six ball's going to be kind of weird. And it is. Once he moved out the way, you could tell the way he was acting. He was tapping the table. He knew it wasn't going to be good. So the jump shot for Candela. So the mistake looks like it's going to prove costly. And we we're just talking about that in a race to seven. Usually you only get maybe one chance to form a comeback. And is that the chance gone for Italy? Well, I thought he could see the potting angle of this, so maybe catch a can. Extension code. Well, there you see, Rolly can't. He's got to play safe. Yeah, from here, it really looks like he's got a full ball to look at, but now he's got to do a little two rail, hide that cue ball on the top. You play the cue ball with spin. That's to avoid a double hit. It's always going to be difficult to try and get the hook. The main thing is distance. He was trying to get the cue ball on the top rail, so the bump on the seven has made this bank shot a little bit more inviting. I think we've got to fire at this as well. It's not easy to play safe. Corrieri likes to fire at the bank shots as well. But he's played a good cue ball as well, so a bit of a two-way shot there. You know, Italy is just... They're still there. They got, they're getting chances and they're getting some shots and maybe they're getting a couple good rolls here and there, but I don't know, wouldn't count them out just yet. Yeah, it's all about this rack now, isn't it? At 5-1, Albania win. You would think the match is over at 6-1. But if Italy win this rack and win a break, they can maybe just make something happen. Kicking one rail. 
Well, it was a good full hit, wasn't it? It really was, but it's going to sell out. This is second chance for Italy. Maybe even a third chance. Yeah, and you if they can't make something of this shot, you got to imagine that their confidence might be dwindling a little bit. Well, they just don't want to win this rack, do they? That wasn't the best positional shot. He's put so much emphasis in making sure he pots the ball. He's forgot about position. And they always say it, but pool is an incredibly psychological game. You know, you got to imagine that Team Italy has been a little bit broken down by all of the early nine balls and a couple of these early misses here. They, they really got to pull themselves back together here. A funny game, the game of nine ball. Italy struggling, can't run the balls out. Misses the pot in the side. And look where it finishes up. I'm pretty sure that green six ball put a pretty large bet on Team Italy to win this game because it has been bailing them out the past three or four shots in a row. I actually don't know what shot catch he's played there. I really don't. He was aiming high on the cue ball, but I didn't think the six went past us. Oh, we landed Joe Jarson for that there. Oh, what a strange rack this has been. But as you said, Rowley, seems to be lending itself to Italy's favour. Can they get out now? Can they? This should be okay. I think the cue ball's just ended up perfect. Just pop the ball. And at last, somebody's going to win this rack. You know, this has got to kind of give Italy a lot of heart here. Yeah, I agree with you. Well, I think they've just got to... They've got to realise Albania have not played great themselves. I really, really wish I spoke Italian for this one because I gotta wonder, you know, what are they, what are they saying? How are they gonna try to pull this together? Because none of the games that they've won so far have looked crisp, but they're still in this because Albania can't close the gap here. So what has Italy got to do in order to convert on here? Yeah, it was all about Albania. They made a lot of mistakes in that rack. Let's not forget that was a rack to get them on the hill. So this match could have been pretty much over. I have no clue what Catchy was trying there. I really don't. I mean, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say the six ball went past the seven, but it didn't look like it to me. Now, when you got two balls touching, is there something that you can do to try to throw one ball into another ball? Like, is was he maybe trying to play it off the seven? Because the seven definitely moved on that shot. Yeah, possibly that's what he was trying. Yeah, as we were saying, Italy have just got a two break and runs, you know, would would really throw this match on his on his side, wouldn't it? You know, it's five two. Keep Albania in the chair. And I'm sure Albania will be kicking themselves because it could have very easily been six one and themselves breaking for the win, but five two, five three, five four, and they start to sweat a little bit. Albanian fans, the flag, the red shirts. Rock eight. They don't look worried. They, the they got faith Straight in their in boys. Five rocks to two. A little bit of an unusual style of break here. A lot of the players hold the rail and Q rolls down the rail, but Corrieri's decided to put his hand on the table. 
again, that looked a little flat. Didn't look like there was a lot of pace on the brake. The players can brake harder than this. I don't really know what is going on. It looks on most brakes, they're getting that one ball in the side. Is there any any danger of uh, breaking too hard and missing on that one ball? Is that maybe why they're taking some power off? I think on day one of, of any pool tournament, the players are trying to suss out the break. That's why you do always see a few of them watching in the arena. You know, they're not just here to, for the love of it to watch, watch the guys playing. They're just trying to spot a few things and... Even if they're practicing upstairs, there'll be a TV in there and they'll all be discussing the break. Seems to be a big talking point in the game of nine ball. Decent cue ball control there. He knew he had a wall of balls to land behind. Also, he knew firing the two into the eight, he needed to get a bit of distance and they're going to be happy with that. Yeah, for some reason, I think Kachi's going to drill this one, though. He's really good at these long, long jump shots. He's got a lot of table to look at. Thing is, with this type of shot, you expect at this level the player is always going to hit this two ball. That's the microphone you can hear screeching away on the jump cue. Oh, you called it well. And what a shot he's played here. Has he held it though? It's a tight one. As Basar runs around the table, he's not happy. I think he's going back for his jump cue. And he is, so are we going to see back-to-back -back jump shots? Look at that, jump shot with draw. You know, the last couple of racks, it has been all Italy on these rolls. I guess early on, Albania was catching some lucky rolls, but Italy's really been getting lucky on these. Sounds like he's chalking concrete when he... Uh... What's the chalk on his jump cue? He's got to be careful he don't scratch in the bottom right here. That is on if he hits this bad. Oh, it's a jump shot exhibition here from Albania. Back to back. Are we going to see another one? Can't tell, is that six ball in the way? Oh, no, he's got that four clean. Looks awful thin, though, this to me. This is a lot thinner than we think. Yeah, and he's not even played the point in the side. He's purposely played this, put the four ball on the top rail, and get the distance, good shot. And if he's got the hook, it's yeah. even better. They seen a look at that shot. It's all about speed control, making sure you get that four ball dead on the top rail. That just offers the distance, and then sometimes you do get the hook. He's trying to pop this in the top left. You feel like he'll go close. Watch the cue ball. Watch the cue ball. Now. The great safety shot from Katja is going to give Albania a wonderful chance to get on the hill now. Yeah, it's great to see that uh, when you're banking off the long rail there and you hit it hard, that kind of bend in the cue ball that you get. you got to use that bend or else you're going to miss the ball completely. Playing this with his opposite hand. He was playing for the six in the top left. He's overrun that shot. And you will see that when the players switch hands just because well they've got no real feel feel in the opposite hand big shot for catcher this is his time to step up because if you make this shot the rack should be over playing it in the top right and it's there it's in the heart of the pocket yeah that sort of feels like it spells defeat for italy because this looks like they're getting on the hill and Albania to break. I don't like their chances. Yeah, the only way this can go wrong is if Basar lands a little funny on the eight. 
it's not the end of the world. If he can draw this cue ball back, he'll play it in the top right. If the angle is a little weird, he'll play it in the right centre and go two, probably three rails for the nine in the bottom right. Yep, that's what he's done. This is good enough. Beautiful. Wow, it's just going to be a straight-in shot. What a what a speed control from Kachi. We're on the hill. Kachi gives him a little smile. It's always nice when you get on the hill. Even though you're leading 5-1, you feel like things are going your way. It's a beautiful feeling. Get on the hill. A few jump shots in that rack. That set up this opportunity from Albania. Now, when when you got a pair like this, Kachi is one of the top ranked players in the world, and Bessar is he's excellent, but he's not quite on the same uh, order of magnitude as Kachi is. Does it become sort of a dynamic thing where Bassar is trying to set up Kachi, or how do you think they play that? I think just the beauty of this format, obviously, when you've got the option to come to the table, so any one of you can take the first shot. Often it depends what type of shot it is. If it's a tricky pot or a tricky safety, you feel like Kachi's going to take the lead. But at some point, I don't mean to say the weaker player, yeah, but let's just say the lesser known player. They're going to have to step up to the plate and pull off a shot. They're the Albanian fans. They're loving life at the minute. Their boys are on the hill. Catchy's breaking. This is the type of break I like to see now. He's going full throttle, trying to pack the cue ball in the center of the table and see what the table gives them. Rack nine, Albania to break on the hill, leading by six racks to two. I, for one, thought this match was going to be a little bit tighter. Potentially, it could have been. Now, let's have a look at the catchy ball. Oh, there you see, going pure power, a little bit SVB like. And he's got a shot at the one. It's a little awkward to get on the two. And then even if he does get on the two, you feel like the nine's going to play a big part in the next positional shot. Yeah, when that one doesn't go on the side, sometimes it can uh, get a little funky, but it looks like Albania's got some nice shots ahead of them. Now, I don't speak Albanian, but I'm guessing Kachi is just settling his partner down and just saying, don't get tricky with this. Just make the ball, leave me some kind of distance, and I'll, do, I'll take care of the rest, buddy. Now, Carl, you did write on your resume that you could speak Albanian, so I'm sorry to blow up your spot. Yeah, maybe on a Friday night after a few jars. Cano didn't go in the centre of the pocket, did it? Took a bit of a wobble. But he's actually done well to get the cue ball down this far. Is he going to try and slide off the edge of the nine? Just to get the cue ball over? Oh, he is. But where's the nine going? Has he fluked it in the side? We will never know. I'll tell you. No is the answer. <laughs> it was close. It was certainly tracking towards the side, but the main thing is they've got a shot on the three. Now, he's drawing this ball, isn't he? He's going to go off the side rail in between the purple and the brown ball. Many a player would maybe go forward, but there's nothing wrong with that decision. Beautiful shot. You know, some players play well with a lead. Others play well when they, they're under pressure. And it looks like uh, Albania plays really well with the lead here. They're looking pretty effortless. They're on the hill. They're feeling good. I think they shouldn't have trouble with the rest of this. Mm. 
Yeah, he's got a nice little angle and kind of just sat behind it. Maybe have to play this a little firmer than like a natural angle. But just get the cue ball anywhere in the centre. Even if you under hit this shot, you know, catch has got all the experience in the world in, in these type of events. Just pot your ball. Well, he thundered it in, didn't he? So he's come quite far out. Didn't need to get that far out. Right? It could have been three feet to the left and it would have been fine. Yeah, I think you're six two ahead, you feel pretty confident and you wanna let your stroke out because next next time you play you're gonna wanna be, you know, prime for the shooting. Just these two balls remain. And what has been a poor event for Albania in the past. Oh, we can finally put a smile on the face, but he nearly missed the seven. Again, you're seeing the cue ball go way up table. I mean, what, what's he doing? Just pop the ball, leave catchy anywhere. Yeah, they might have to talk about that after they clear up here. You know, just trying to strategize for the next match. Yeah, and them seven balls after a